In a little known corner of Detroit, just a stone's throw from the city's trash incinerator is a phenomenon known as John's Carpet House. Now mind you, there's no house, there's no carpet either, except for a tiny square under the band. There isn't even a John anymore, except in the minds of those who knew him and keep his memory alive here. Oh, this go back about 20 years ago. A fellow across the street named John Estes. He used to do the blues every Sunday. Theoretically, he was a junk man, but he loved the blues. He was mainly a drummer. So he built a little shed over there, and it was all carpeted inside. You know, the sides of the wall, instead of panel, he used carpet and everything. And he named it Carpet House. And then, unfortunately, John Estes died. Everything went down, became dilapidated. And then last year, someone set all of the houses on fire, including the stage that we used to play on. And then after John died, I said, we didn't want this thing to die. And me and Kenny got together, and we decided to move it across here. And from then on, it just, it just exploded. So we're putting three, four, five hundred people over here every Sunday. But I was the DJ in when he was doing it. So now, my thing now is mainly to organize and keep everything together in his memory. I'm not a musician. I play music, and that's what I enjoy doing. And so I knew a lot of the musicians, and they just followed me, and that's how we got started out here. Well, uh, a friend of mine told me about it. He told me there were some blues players out in the, in the middle of a field jamming, and I couldn't believe it. So I had to come over here and see if if it was true. do it every Sunday, completely free. All we do, we give a donation and keep going. Everything's a donation. The only reason we do that is to keep the grass cut, keep gas in the generator. But nowhere else in the city of Detroit can you come, enjoy a free party, and have such a good time. Down back to Mississippi and Alabama. How many of y'all know the blues out here? The blues, good cooking, barbecue, and everybody's having fun. Great time. Oh, I like all music, but I love this. I love this. This is like history. You know, that's why you keep coming back. This is history. <laughs> hey, everybody all right? Everybody say yeah! Yeah! Because blues is such an emotional uh, a music that represents life, it's a true thing. It's a truth teller. And... Um, that's something that people relate to. So there's no fantasy in it. Taking it easy, doing what we do out here every Sunday from 3 o'clock until the sun goes down. This is definitely Mardi Gras in the hood. <laughs> well, I enjoy the blues. The blues tells a story, and it's all about the blues. You know, we don't want to let the blues die. And that's all John played over there was the blues. He said, if you didn't like the blues, then you had a hole in your soul. And if you don't like the blues, go home. And that's the way we did it. That was our model. Yeah.